to Mar. It's uh, Thursday. It's Thursday. I have forgotten what day it is so many times today. Uh, it's Thursday and I've had a bit of a week. Um, I last made a video for you on Tuesday morning. Um, during which I became very sick. So, okay. So Tuesday morning, I felt like medium sick and opted to go to the doctor and went to the doctor Tuesday morning and was like, hey, I feel, you know, medium sick right now. I feel sick enough that I should probably have come to see you. And she was like, uh, yeah, this looks bacterial. Let's give you an antibiotic. Uh, she swapped me for strep, but they did not have the quick strep test. So they sent it out to the lab. But thankfully, even though she didn't have the confirmation that it was strep, said, uh, why don't I call you an, an antibiotic? This is really probably bacterial. And thank God, because that was Tuesday morning. And I just got worse and worse and worse as Tuesday went on. And I went to class on Tuesday night. And God, I wish I hadn't. But I, missing class is a really big deal in my program. Uh, it, my, my tonsil, my right tonsil was so swollen that it felt like I had an ear infection or maybe I did have an ear infection. Probably just felt like, um, still kind of feels like. Uh, and it hurt to swallow my spit. I have like, like in incredibly hurt to swallow my spit. It was really bad. Um, and I have never felt my body change conditions so quickly until, uh, bless Jenny, she went and picked up my uh, prescription for me for the antibiotic. Oh, I stood up for myself. The doctor prescribed me an antibiotic and I said, okay, well then I need fluconazole also because I know what my body does when I take an antibiotic. Please give me fluconazole. And she listened to me and she said, yes, you know your body. I will give you that prescription. What a nice doctor. Um, and yeah, I called the doctor and the receptionist was like, uh, I have an opening for you in 20 minutes. And I was like, I will be right there because it's a 10 minute walk from my office. Uh, anyway, so Jenny picked up my prescription. I took an antibiotic, with, swallowed it with great difficulty on Tuesday night, and by Wednesday morning was in so much less pain. I had like a normal painful sore throat as opposed to an excruciatingly sore throat. It was astonishing the difference. Absolutely astonishing. Um, and I thought I would sleep in and have like a later morning and go to work late, so I Woke up at six, texted my coworkers and was like, I'll be in later. Uh, and then woke up again at nine and was like, I, I'm not going into work today. I'm playing hooky. And I told Ginny, Ginny, I'm playing hooky. And, and Ginny was like, golly, you have strep throat. That's not playing hooky. That's calling out sick. That's different. And I was like, but I feel fine. And then got lightheaded and had to sit down. And she was like, uh-huh, sure. You feel fine. Um, so, you know, with all of my great uh, I'm very good for myself. Uh, uh, I stayed home that day and then went out to breakfast with Kenny and then decided to meet up with Rin and walk into Center City uh, and regretted it when I got there because I was real shaky. So I took the bus back. Uh, this was Wednesday. Took a nap, watched some Steven Universe, went out to dinner with Kenny, went the heck to sleep. And then today is Thursday, and today I was really, really busy at work, you know, catching up from being gone for a day. And then also, um, <gasps> no, I accidentally threw out my glove. Son of a gun. Anyway, um, so yeah, not only was I catching up after being gone for a day, but I left at 12.30 for practicum today, which, I'm not freaking out anymore, uh, was, which was fine. It's still not great, but like, I'm no longer in a panic. I've met two of the three residents that I'm working with. I like them a lot. I really like them a lot. Uh, they're, they're a hoot. Uh, and yeah, that's where I'm leaving from right now. I spent, I was like, I was there for like five hours and I'm uh, almost at Jacob's place to make egg drop soup because I told him my throat hurt and he said he would make soup. And I think Sterling made me soup also. So I've got lots of soup in my life right now. Uh, and those are all the things that have happened to me. Look how short my videos are when I make you them regularly. Uh, that's all, I love you. I'm really behind on your videos, but I'll watch them soon, I'm sure.